Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to do a general, see what energy surrounds you. You can skip ahead to the love reading. The love reading will be after this one. So remember, it is not a personal reading. It's a general reading for whoever needs to hear this message. Let's get into it. Sagittarius, what surrounds Sagittarius right now, Spirit Guides? Okay. So we have try a different approach. Change your outlook, opinions, point of view, your perspective. Maybe you need to see a different perspective. Maybe there is an issue in front of you, a problem in front of you. The mountain is really being highlighted here. Can't even, can't deal with a situation, don't know what to say or do. Yep, it's like uh, you're needing to see a different, a different perspective or maybe even get a different perspective from someone else. Can't comprehend, shaking my head. Wow, there is something that is in front of you. You're probably needing to change your outlook on it, though. Could be a struggle. Or maybe you're needing to take a different approach. Give me more on this POV. Oops, I'm upside down. Okay. So, give me more on this Three of Cups. You're needing to maybe get advice from friends. This could be regarding a past or maybe you're judging the situation. Maybe friends, you're judging friends, but you're judging a situation. Or let's see, give me more on this, can't even. Can't even. And then... Yeah, you don't even want to deal with this. I feel like the past is coming back around and you don't want to deal with it. There's going to be like a, I don't want to make this about love, but most of you do follow me because of my love reading. So it kind of seems like somebody from the past is coming back around and you don't even want to deal with it. You don't know how to approach it or somebody here doesn't know how to approach you. But I sense that you don't want to deal with it here. Sagittarius <laughs> it could be also friends judging you because you're still stuck on something from the past and you don't even care um, let's see so that is what I'm getting for that okay so we do have a lot of water a Leo Scorpio let's move forward yeah I feel like you're trying to avoid something here we have the Seven of Swords under. Okay, sorry about that, Sanj. Let's see. Let's get into new love. New love for Sanj. What's coming in love? And then we'll do in the connections. So let's see. Sagittarius. In love. New love or in love. Chemistry. Oh, Leo just had that. Hmm, interesting. Testing the waters. Okay, this chemistry is strong. It's settle, setting my mind on fire. Testing the waters. I'm exploring the potential of this relationship. So somebody here wants to explore the potential here. Explore the potential of this chemistry because they are very drawn to you i feel like both of you are very drawn to each other give me more on this chemistry and testing the waters somebody could be wanting to come tippy toe i'm getting tippy toe into your life somebody that maybe wants to reconnect somebody that's already hurt you in the past okay somebody wants to heal the situation with you but I feel like you are not pain. You're not healing from the wounds. Um, somebody here is probably also trying to keep tabs on you or trying to more know more about you and see what's going on. But be careful. 
because you might be suppressing some some wounds that's what i'm what i always get with this card it's like you're acting like everything is fine but it's not you have not paid attention to what needs healing for some of you okay so somebody here wants to test the waters with you meaning somebody from the past okay sorry i really want a new love here or you could be also you know getting over a third party situation and healing here and somebody could be interrupting your healing process but i feel like you still need a lot of healing you're trying to find your happiness but i do see somebody from the past for some of you coming back around and healing the situation they're trying to learn more about you they're curious about you that's what i'm getting here could be a virgo a leo an air sign water okay so bottom of the deck yep you're gonna be stuck in your thoughts so that is what i get sorry <laughs> so let's get into the connection next okay hi sagittarius let's get started here now you know i gave this reminder at the beginning but it's not a personal reading it's a general reading and the roles can be reversed here okay it says ready <laughs> so the goal is to get some insight and advice on your connection so let's see sagittarius energy with sagittarius oh wow just flying everywhere Okay, well, divine feminine wanted to come out let's see in this connection spirit guides okay again divine feminine okay so you're in your power Ooh. why did i choose this deck for yours that's interesting okay i'll just go with it <laughs> okay so what is um, the root of the problem here for your Sag? Maybe um, maybe you're a cross watcher here. <laughs> okay, so bottom of the deck, long journey. Okay, so something's not happening here. It's it feels like nothing's happening you have no hopes for it sag there's you're you're having a problem here with being opt optimistic i think leo had that too that's why readers do collective readings because there's a lot of things that both of you well the collective energy all have so at the same time so we have somebody not being optimistic about this connection you have hidden desires i feel like you are coming into your power or you're really getting feeling that divine feminine not doing anything just focused on you doing what you need to do right now it's not gender specific we all have the feminine energy so you're balancing that out you're getting in touch with that energy they are seeing you as somebody very risky like uh maybe even i don't know why i wanted to say um risky behavior so maybe um they are seeing you as somebody that um would be a risk you know to start something with um i don't know so let's get into their energy here for sagittarius their energy for Sagittarius. Their energy for Sagittarius. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see. What is it that Sag doesn't see? in them okay what's the issue here with them sabotaging energy 
wow this person has been sabotaging look at bad energy for them there's a reason why i chose that this side usually it's flipped here so that's interesting for me um criticism maybe they're criticizing themselves or maybe um they're subconsciously i feel they're subconsciously sabotaging this connection for some reason maybe somebody here also always criticizes them and they're tired of it or um a going back and forth tick for tat that's what i'm also getting um it's never good enough or they feel that they're not good enough so they their issue is sabotaging maybe you're sabotaging it or they think that you're sabotaging it or just they um something here ended abruptly and they're having a hard time with it but you're seeing them as them being in your future you're not aware of this but they're wanting to for, um, ask for forgiveness here we have forgiveness in the position of you not knowing uh, what they're thinking or what they're wanting here and then in your on your side you have hidden desires for this person obviously if you're here you you probably the one i'm i'm picking up on it might not be for everybody but you do have some kind of n like inkling there like there is something there that you still want to know about this person or you still desire this person because you're seeing them in their in your future okay so <laughs> um uh, this person i'm getting also self-criticism or they they self-sabotage here because they feel like they're not good enough because they see you and your power you have it going on you know so they would be taking a risk towards you but let's see for some of you you do have high hopes in this though this is actually not an issue. Maybe it is an issue because um, you feel like they're self-sabotaging it and you did have high hopes or um, you're finding that as an issue like I shouldn't have high hopes for it or like, but you're seeing them in your future. That's interesting. Like somebody you can make future plans with. Um, let's see. Give me more of this Divine Feminine. Okay, so you're seeing them as somebody that, yeah, you can have a new start with. Um, but somebody here is, I feel like you felt like they took you for granted. Now you're loving yourself. You're coming into yourself. This landed here, so I'm just going to leave it here for this one. Hidden desires, yeah. You've been thinking a lot about what you really do want in this connection. I feel like you've been really healing your feminine side here hmm it kind of seems i'm sorry if you hear my neighbor's dog um it kind of seems like this person took advantage of or you're waiting for them as well but i feel like this is more of like taking for granted card i don't know why i feel that with it's different in this deck so for the just let's move on <laughs> let's see what is this risky behavior risky journey i keep wanting to say risky behavior maybe they feel that it's just a risk because maybe you have this behavior where um hmm, like you're not gonna like them or you're too good which you know would make you a risk for them you know you they could risk losing you because they are thinking that they're not good enough for you give me more of this risky journey or maybe they just don't want to risk that journey with you and be heartbroken again yeah see i told you not good enough for you you we have the queen of pentacles there is something here of you being more stable more secure more grounded 
you have a good head on your shoulders you're the encourager the supporter um so it, it kind of leaves them backing away backing off could be vice versa but that's what i'm feeling give me more of this high hopes why does sagittarius feel high hopes or doesn't feel high hopes yeah because you're in your power you're working on yourself so you do have high hopes i feel like you have high hopes like there's new energy that you're feeling where you're gaining your power your courage and you're standing tall confident because you've been working on yourself so you have high hopes for the future whenever you're working on yourself you feel optimistic you feel positive and you're looking towards the future and i feel like you're coming into that energy if you haven't already let's see give me more of this criticism why does this person feel why does this person have criticism here for themselves this person is like at war with themselves they i feel like they criticize themselves here they really don't feel like they're good enough for this you make them happy but for some reason they self-sabotage there could be mind games manipulation or it's coming off this way but coming off this way with you um like you're seeing them this way but it really isn't it's just maybe low self-esteem i'm getting um i feel like they're at war with themselves meaning something within them they're that they're not working on makes them mess this up yeah wow big time it's it's not gonna resonate with everyone but it kind of that's who I'm picking up on. Let's see. What is this forgiveness for Sagittarius person? You don't see this happening, but yeah. See, look at them. Hmm. They see you as somebody very nurturing, very loving. They can have it all with um, long term. They want to heal the situation. You're their wish fulfillment. They want to ask for forgiveness. Okay. They are noticing that they sabotaged it or their actions sabotaged it. Give me more of this future. They could also be working on themselves, but with this energy here, I don't feel it for most of you. Mm -hmm. Give me more of this future. Yeah, a future you could be seeing them as somebody that is feeling down um here but i do see that you're looking at them as you know making plans for the future um you know being in an exclusive traditional uh, relationship or maybe even a marriage here starting all over there's a lot of passion there's a lot of um i'm getting enthusiasm towards the future because the what's already been like the past was pretty bad i feel like there was some kind of rejection or they made you feel rejected here so i kind of do see like somebody wants to get over this and start looking towards the future like move past the bad stuff already i do see that somebody could be um you could be probably take like keeping an eye on them or keeping tabs on them i see a lot of new energy coming through though we have two aces already the star let's see why is sabotaging here for this person that sag is dealing with see they're holding off another ace here with the lovers Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I didn't want to look at it, but somebody, something told me to look at it. So what I'm getting here is that they are holding off. And by holding off, they're self-sabotaging. They're sabotaging this connection. Instead of, you know, having a confrontation, a one-on-one -on -one with you, talking things over, see about starting things over. You have three aces. So there's so much potential here to um, start something new. But something here is holding them back. 
Could be also some drama that happened between you two. Lots of drama between you two. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Look at that. With the Five of Pentacles here, they feel like... For some reason, I thought this was a Five of um, Swords. Sorry. But they do feel out on the cold here, which is Five of Pentacles. Um, but I do... I did sense a lot of drama, and we do still have it here. Five of Swords. So a lot of mind games, manipulation, holding off, and self-sabotaging I'm, I'm telling you mm -hmm. it's the way that they're thinking because this also represents the way that you're putting energy out there the way that you're thinking lack mentality not having enough for for fulfillment maybe they're having money troubles as well for some of them it's because it kind of seems like you have more going going for yourself and that's how they see you even if you don't feel like it Let's see what this person is thinking about Sag, Spirit Guides. What's this person thinking about Sag? A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. I've been struggling lately. Yeah, they have. I don't trust you. Wow. They don't trust you okay i think because they don't trust themselves they don't love themselves when you don't love yourself or you you're jaded or something's going something's happened before or there was drama then there you go okay i feel too much pressure right now they do they're going through something personally they're going through something you might know more of course um but let's see why is i don't trust you here Wow, the emperor. Maybe because you could come off as somebody that is set in their ways, has a wall up, and doesn't really trust them either. So you both are projecting this onto each other. Both of you are... Wow, could be a twin flame. Well, deep soulmate connection, a past life connection, or just a twin flame journey. Um, if you are, be are a believer of that. As so well, we have the emperor and the empress. This person wants to change, though. Um, this is my changing card as well. They're probably also, you know, you've seen a different side of them. And they want to show you that side. But there is some trust issues here on their part. For most of you. Okay. So that is what I'm having. Let's see what they're really feeling. What is this person feeling towards Sag? drained yeah because they're going through something right now sorry i keep repeating myself but that's what's what keeps coming up there something there okay let's get you some advice real quick and get moving advice for sagittarius and this connection advice for Sagittarius and this connection make them feel they'll they will lose you forever I feel like you're probably there <laughs> you're making them feel like they're gonna lose you forever um, having others enter the competition for your heart is essential if you want to create a fear of loss, remember though, less is more. Don't overdo it. Okay, so don't overdo it because some of you might overdo it and this is a prediction. They're not going to trust you. Okay, you might lose their trust by trying to make them feel like you're going to, you're going to, you're not, you're just going to forget about them and move on. Okay, that's probably why it's a risky behavior because they might not trust you and you've already done that. But just be careful okay less is more this is guidance for some of you for others of you this could be of course a prediction <laughs> so um for others of you you've already done this <laughs> so yeah that's what i have i hope this feels like it resonates i do have water leo earth taurus virgo gemini water earth Aries, 
Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, um, Sagittarius, Gemini, and Earth, and, and Taurus too. Okay, so that is what I have. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back later. Take care of you. Bye.